Today, I'd like to bring you the latest on our vaccination program and our work to get even more people protected from this deadly disease. We've come a long way since we gave the world's first clinically authorized vaccine just over six months ago. Since that very special day, we've now given a first dose to 82% of all adults in the United Kingdom. And today, I can confirm we've reached the milestone of three in five, three in five of all adults getting the protection of a second dose. Um, I'm now going to take you through some of the latest data, if that's okay. Could I have the first slide, please? So uh, this figure I'm sure will be familiar to people. It shows the number of cases of COVID confirmed positive tests each day in the, across the UK. And you can see that the numbers have been increasing since early June in line with the increased transmission of the Delta variant. However, the numbers are much lower than they were during the second wave in, in uh, early this, this year. And we're running at around about 10 to 11,000 cases per day at the moment. There's a very high figure today, which I think is largely contributed by uh, some surge testing that's been going on in Scotland. So sometimes these figures do go up for, for good reasons, as well as uh, other issues. But I think the next graph, the next slide, if we can go on, shows you what's happening to hospitalizations. And you can see that uh, the number of hospitalizations is rising, but at a very much slower rate than we're seeing of the cases. So I think this is showing us the evidence that the vaccine is working and it's breaking the link between cases of infection and hospitalizations. Minister, how worried are you about the new Delta Plus variant and does it risk posing derailing reopening next month? And you said that vaccines are a way out of the crisis. Surely now we should introduce vaccine passports. It would help the travel sector, uh, for, you know, with a huge boost. And surely it would help get even more people to come and take the vaccine. Thank you, Helia. In terms of how the virus behaves and mutations, the virus will continue to mutate. That's what viruses do. They, they try to survive by infecting people and then mutating to, to, to try and... Uh, uh, evade a, a vaccine. Now, the good news is that the uh, vaccines that we're deploying, both the Pfizer-BioNTech and the Oxford-AstraZeneca and Moderna vaccines, are incredibly effective against the Delta variant after two doses in terms of transmission, but also uh, on hospitalization and, of course, um, uh, serious infection. So that's, that's the good news. The other bit of good news is we have probably one of the largest uh, genome sequencing infrastructures in the world. The reason this country picks up these variants early, whether it was the 117 early on, or the, you know, the B1617.2, the, the Delta variant, or other variants, because viruses will continue uh, to mutate. That capability is incredibly important to our future. Um, and of course, then you talk about um, certification, vaccine certification. We know a number of countries will require some form of certificate, as they've done historically, whether it's yellow fever passport certification in the past or otherwise, which is why um, in, on, I think, 17th of May, uh, uh, we made the, 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 the operationalizing of that possible with either the app or a letter that you can receive demonstrating that you've been vaccinated. And of course, we'll continue to work with uh, you know, uh, other countries through the travel task force to see how you know, we can build on you know, all this really good progress in the vaccination program so that we can have the, the use of, of the, you know, the, the double vaccination with testing, um, open up more of our economy. You know, I was at uh, Wembley for that first England match against Croatia, and it actually worked incredibly well. It's part of the events trial of going for a lateral flow test beforehand because I hadn't had enough time for my second vaccination because one of the rules was you had to have either double vaccinated and have 14 days after or a lateral flow test within uh, 24 hours of the event. So a combination of, I think, is the way forward. And we're looking at all of that at the moment to see how we can, one, open up more of our economy uh, and, of course, make sure that we work with other countries to, to facilitate travel globally because we need to get the travel industry back on its feet uh, too. Um, 
on the uh, Delta variant, I know that obviously Mary and Public Health England do incredible work in keeping an eye on all the variants. And the moment they think a, a variant is under investigation, uh, they come to us. And of course, uh, we work together to make sure uh, the resources are there to be able to really uh, uh, test and then genome sequence or when it moves to a variant uh, uh, of concern.